When my mom is mad at you, she's like, whatever. Oh, uh-uh, Frederica. Mm-mm. I asked you is a question, and you're gonna answer it. I don't want to talk about it anymore. You lived inside me. And uh, like on, and it just keeps going. <laughs> Today, I'm going to transform myself into my mother. We're gonna dress like our mothers did when they were our age. I guess I'll just be like an 80s cool Asian chick. My mom's name is Mumtaz. She is very colorful. She's very talkative. She's been talking for 10 minutes straight. Hey, do I feel like, like, that thing, like, like what they sell at Costco? My mom was in her early to mid 20s in the 80s. She does have kind of the puffy hair, but not really like the 80s puffy hair, kind of just her natural hair. She wore traditional like shalvar kameez plus sneakers, like running shoes. I found the my mom section, just shalvar after shalvar. I don't know why they have this in an like American vintage clothing store. There are a couple of pictures that she sent me with her in kind of like a really cute wrap dress and a shirt. My mom's name is Terry. People called her TV back in the day. Anytime I'm looking for a comedy, I just call my mom. She always makes me feel better. Back in the 70s, she was in her 20s. She was living on an island. She was very like naturalista. She was just like hippie status to the 1,000th degree. I think I might go with this boho chic shirt. Terry was very boho in the 70s. She threw some color in there. She had some nice little like billowy sleeved, short sleeve shirts with like embroidered flowers. So this dress is quite long and also my tits don't fill it out. So there's that. Cutlets? Yeah. <laughs> my mom's name is Debbie. She has like very strong feelings about things. She's fiercely loyal. If you were like in a back alley knife fight and you needed like a mom, that would be my mom. Pick my mom. My mom had like two basic styles. She liked bright colors, big patterns. She also wore a lot of shirt dresses. I feel like I'm going to a very conservative prom. I love all the details. I love the skirt. I love the shoulder pads. I see pictures of her from the 80s and she has big hair, really bold lipstick, really defined eyes. It's definitely like really into the whole 80s pastiche. Elizabeth is very particular. She's really smart. She's funny without meaning to be. There's a group chat with my mom and my two older sisters and at 9.53 my mom sent what are you guys up to and then at 9.54 not even a, like two minutes later one minute later she responded with hello exclamation point exclamation point question mark question mark question mark my mom's also just very very private any photo you see of my mom will be her body, but I've photoshopped my face onto it. My mom was in her 20s and 1980s. She wore a lot of sweaters with shoulder pads. She wore a lot of button downs with like big bulky belts. This is a blouse that has shoulder pads and my mom said anything solid colored with shoulder pads and a button down. So I'm dressed like my mom from the 80s. My hair is like a beautiful Southern marshmallow. I feel pretty peak Mumtaz in this outfit. My mom is very loud, very in your face. I will be bold this week. Part of what I want to achieve this week is sort of her like free spirit and frame of mind in the 70s. It makes so much sense that your mom would wear this outfit. It's got a lot of attitude, but then it's classy on top. When I think of my mother, I just think of someone that isn't very much a go-getter. I do like the no bullshit, uh, attitude that comes with this type of outfit. We're doing a mom activity. We're going to Freddy's house to give Freddy's cat his medicines. The funny thing is my mom hates cats. <laughs> Your mom was stylish. She was stylish. I'm Thank into you. this look, yeah. Thank you. It doesn't seem like something that you wouldn't normally wear. Steven has been wildly unsupportive of this look. The question is, is this your mom's outfit or your great, 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 great grandmother's outfit? What is this? Don't I look sophisticated 80 chic? I mean, you look like a mom. It reminds me of a place setting. It's very nice, it's very well done, but I could see it on a nice dining room table in the 70s. The great thing about the 80s is that everything had shoulder pads. It's like the prince says, I love spring, but the shoulder pads say, I also love negotiating. This is one of my mom's actual dresses, and it's kind of fun to walk around in it. Hello, Pa, this is Mumtaz. Please, will you tell Sophia to call me back? She hasn't called me back. My mom is a very put-together woman, and the clothes that I wore this past week felt very, you know, 
No bullshit. I feel like I'm dressed like a school teacher. You do a lot of cleavage for a school teacher. I'm a school teacher that gets fired. <laughs> I do feel like I'm wearing a lot of material. The flared jeans are a bit much. I didn't feel as mobile. I like to feel mobile. All the clothes from the 80s are really hot because they're made from polyester. Apparently people have been dealing with gappy shirts since the time of the dinosaurs. I look like an I Love Lucy who also loves jail. A lot of the stuff that I was wearing is actually stuff that was my mom's because she got really excited about this and sent me a lot of stuff. And it made me feel a little bit closer to her, which was fun. Whenever she, we go out to eat, my mom puts her arms completely under the table and then goes like this, she looks around. We just had a lovely brunch. How was brunch, guys? Lovely. It was wonderful. Overall, this week was very educational. I was really surprised at how my taste in clothes are so similar to my mom's taste. It was fun to kind of think about my mom as like a young person. It was cool to kind of see those pictures that she sent and see all the clothes that she sent. My mom's fashion in the 70s definitely reflected her personality in the 70s. She was very, very free-spirited. And I tried to channel that, but I am slightly neurotic. But I did try and keep in mind to just like chill out. My mom is someone that always has a plan, and then she's also someone that always fulfills her plan. It was actually really cool to sort of channel that side of her. I've always really felt like if I could just be a little bit more like my mother, hardworking like my mother, then I would be in a good place. Thank you so much for watching Ladylike. If you'd like to see more of us, click there and subscribe to our channel. Or take off these covers because none of us are wearing pants. Ow! <laughs>